So currently we have this board route that can be accessed by anyone. No account is required. So let's protect it using the auth middleware. I'll go here and say middleware auth. If I try accessing this route again, we are redirected to the login page. However, instead of registering an account, I'll add a user using the database seeder. So I'll go in the database seeder, and here we'll do user factory create, I'll give it an email and password, and we'll have to hash the password using the bcrypt helper. Let's import the user class and seed the database using php artisan db seed. Now if I go in the browser, I can log in using my email and password. And here it is, our route is now protected. So what I want to do in this video is take our board component and extract the authenticated layout from it. The first thing I'm going to do is import the current authenticated layout. So I'll do import authenticated from at layouts authenticated. I'll wrap all this within the authenticated layout. Go in the browser and here it is. Our board is now within the authenticated layout. Essentially, what I want to do is move the navigation and the main element inside the authenticated layout. So I'll grab the header, open the authenticated layout, and paste it right under the nav element. Let's also import the menu components from Headless UI. So I'll grab these. Paste them here, go in the browser, refresh, and our layout still looks the same, which is what we wanted. Let's go through the old navigation and see what we can save from there. I'll get the dashboard route and put it to our logo. Where's our logo? Here it is. And I think the logo should be included in the navigation. So I'll replace the header with nav and the nav with div. Let's move on, see what else we can get. Okay, we already have a different dropdown. We don't have a name in our dropdown, we have an avatar. Okay, let's get the logout button. So I'll grab this, find our logout button, which is this one should be turned into an inertia link. And we'll have route logout as button method post. And let's remove this old ref attribute. Go in the browser, refresh. And here it is, but our styling is broken. We need to make this full width. And align the text to the left. Let's test it out, and we are logged out. Okay. I think we can now get rid of the old nav, so I'll delete this. And we should make use of the existing nav link component. So I'll grab these classes, open the nav link component, and replace these. Now, if the element is active, we should set BG gray to 100. And now we can replace this old anchor tag with nav link. Let's go into browser, refresh, and here it is. Let's move on to the avatar. Since we are using Laravel Breeze and not JetStream, we don't have access to a user profile image or anything. But what we can do is create an accessor on the user model and grab the Gravatar URL. So I'll open the user model, go down here and add a new accessor, 
called avatar URL. This will need to return an attribute from eloquent casts and we'll do return attribute make and we'll have a getter which will be a function that will return the avatar URL. The return URL should follow this format. We should have https gravatar.com slash avatar slash hash where hash is a generated string based on the email address. So we'll do this and then we'll append the hash which will be md5 and here we'll pass it the email address but before we do that let's make sure it's in lowercase. So I'll do string to lower this email. And I think we can also pass it some query parameters to specify the size. So S for the size. And I think there was one for the rating. Yeah, here it is. We should pass G for the R parameter. So the avatar we get back is suitable for display on all websites with any audience type. So we'll append S for size and let's say 100 pixels and then R G. And this should work, but before we use it, we need to make sure Inertia shares it with the frontend. So I'll open the handle Inertia request middleware. And here I'll do only, and I'll pass it an array with the fields I want to get. So we'll have ID, we'll have name, and we'll have avatar URL. Now if I go in the browser, refresh, and we have auth user avatar URL and here's our avatar. This means I can go inside the authenticated layout and here on the image we can do source and then we can do page props auth user and avatar underscore URL. And let's also add the name. Let's go in the browser, refresh, and sure enough, this is my Gravatar. Moving on, let's minimize the nav and continue moving elements from the board to the authenticated layout. I'll grab this wrapper and replace this one. And then we can also grab the main element and replace this main element and let's completely remove the header. Let's check it out, refresh and it still looks good. However, one thing I want to do is make sure that the background color is defined by the board page component because we might want to have pages with different background colors. Refresh, and there we go. Finally, I'll remove this bit of unused code, and we are done. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.